guys. So we're gonna mill down this table. I just want to show you the process of how we can mill this table to the same height every single time. So you don't have to constantly reset your table thickness. So right now we got the milling wheel on. We got the water from the corner. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over our sasso. So if you don't have this already, you should have it or get it going. So mill Z height. So ours here is 12.4, every machine's a little different, but you should write this down and just mill to the same height every time. So let's go back to our screen here. So right now it's positioned off of the table. We're gonna click Z absolute, okay? So Z absolute, we're gonna go 12.4. Check and play. So it's gonna drop down in position. Let's go ahead and go over here, so. We're going to get it nice and close to the table, about half on and half off from the Y axis. That's good. We got the water. We got the blade on. Let's go ahead and fire this up. height. Mill to the same height every time. Use the same milling wheel. Try not to use that milling wheel too much for milling down material because it'll just shrink and then your table height's not quite right. So we're going to push F3. So we'll push F3 and then we're going to push F4. All right in here this is already pre-populated if you've milled your table once before. So this is good. We can literally just press start Turn our speed down. Oh, one more thing. Let's change our max speed. We get out. Let's change our max speed to like like 400 inches per minute. I'm not trying to take all day to cut this table, and it's soft. So, all right, 138, 82. The water is checked on. Let's go ahead and start this up. Remember, mill it to the same height every time. I mean, if you can. It's easier if you just keep it consistent. Use the same wheel, mill to that same Z height every time. You won't have problems. 